in this last section of uh, this uh, tutorial we are simply going to see how to interpret the, the hypothesis which were tested in SPSS and uh, I'm just going to take one simple example for correlation so you could go further based on your method know how to interpret it and use the figures appropriately so from here after you must have exported all the results from SPSS so you get to your word document um, so here will be uh, descriptive statistics uh, for all the tables and charts we'll go straight to the point at the level of where the hypothesis are now so here uh, for this company uh, we have the first we have the first hypothesis uh, you can first of all uh, uh, introduce uh, the hypothesis section so from here we now have the first hypothesis or the first table that we we, we correlated uh, it is role played against organizational role so Let's look at these figures so in case you are using the correlation coefficient. So you can see that here you see role plate being correlated with role plate. And it is obvious that the Pearson's correlation is going to be one to show a perfect correlation between role plate and role plate. So it is obviously normally one. Now when you look at the relationship between role plate and uh, organizational group, you can see that it is given uh, a, 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 a significant, a, um, the correlation level is significant at 0. Uh, nine four five so and you see two stars there when you look at the two stars there you can tell us clearly that a uh, correlation is a uh, significant at 0 0.1 0 0.01 meaning this um, correlation was tested at the significance level 0 0.01 now this uh, 0 0.01 is uh, the the alpha which uh, is the base of determination of, of our of our significance now here you have the p-value which is significant at two tilt and uh, you can see here it is significant at 0 0.00 which is obviously less than 0 0.01 so you see this same table now here 30 represents the number of respondents so you see this section up is still repeated down here because here you are correlating organizational gold with role split just like here you, you correlated role split with organizational gold obviously that's going to be the same um, uh, result so here we can now see the hypothesis have been stated. The null hypothesis saying that there is no significant positive relationship between role play and organizational performance. And the alternative hypothesis saying or affirming that there is a statistical relationship between role play and organizational performance. So you can now see that if we want to conclude, if we want to talk about it, you see here it is clearly said that uh, um, uh, uh, results from the table above shows uh, a positive relationship of 0 0.945 between role play and organizational performance so what is the use of the Pearson's correlation to look at the, the the rate at which it is um the rate of the relationship if it has a strong positive relationship or not so obviously the Pearson's correlation ranges from negative one to one and uh, yeah if it is close to one or if it is close to positive one then it is strongly positive and if it is close to negative one it's strongly negative but if it is uh, 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 uh around zero we can say it, it's partially kind of thing but here you can see that it is really close to one 0 0.945 so it shows that there's a strong positive relationship between role plate and organizational performance these are informations coming from sbss and this is it we are already interpreting normally after this we have to talk about the significance level um i've placed it somewhere around here so from the result of a hypothesis test it is being observed that there is a positive relationship of 4. Point, uh, 0 0.95 0 0.945 between role plate and organizational performance this relationship is significant at 0 0.000 based on this relationship we therefore reject the null hypothesis and conclude that role plate has a significant positive relationship on organizational performance why because it is being said that if the p value is less than alpha we reject the no hypothesis of which we already had a no hypothesis and an alternative hypothesis so from here we can simply conclude that there is a significant positive relationship between role plate and organizational goal so this is the same thing you are doing for each of the other tables and the other variables here it is problems faced against organizational performance here it is causes of failure against organizational performance and all of them are showing a significant level of 0 0.000 which is all less than the significance level or the p the, the, the alpha which was pre-estimated at 0 0.01 so it is obvious that all of these um, um, variables we are going to reject their null hypothesis and accept the alternative hypothesis also given that the r value or the correlation value is equally very high close to one year we have uh, 0 0.945 year we have 0 0.000 
0.957, here we have 0 0.942, or here we have 0 0.902, which is equally very good. So that is how you go about the interpretation of the correlation. You can find more on the, the other methods or the other techniques used in the analysis. Thank you very much for watching. And if you have any questions, don't forget to leave a comment or get to us and we will find ways to assist you. Okay, that was all for this short program. Hope you enjoyed learning with us. One thing, learn and share with others.